October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We all know that. Our next guest is sharing her own journey with this disease. Katie Couric is an award-winning journalist with more than 40 years of experience. In September, she shared the news that she was diagnosed with stage 1 breast cancer. Couric documented the screening process and caught the moment her doctor found something of concern. So, in addition to getting a mammogram, I also get a breast ultrasound. On ultrasound, what I saw was a mass, and that mass had irregular margins. And I looked at you, and I looked at the person who was imaging us, and I said, I think we really need to turn the camera off. I, I, I want to speak frankly. So can I stop for a second here? Oh, Katie Couric joins us now. Oh. Katie, take us to that moment because it's one of any woman who's been through this, this is the worst process. This is the worst moment for the doctor to say, wait, we need to talk about this. So did you go, were you documenting it because you felt something or because it was just a regular, you thought it was going to be a regular screening and you just wanted to take viewers inside? Yeah, you know, hi, Gail, first of all. Hi. You know, I wanted, I wanted to remind people, so millions of women, I think, put off their mammograms because of the pandemic. And as a result, many breast cancers and other cancers, for that matter, are being diagnosed much later when they're harder to treat. So I really went in to not only remind women to get screened, but I also wanted to talk about dense breasts because in addition to mammography, I always get a breast ultrasound. So when she said, turn the camera off, uh, my producer was videotaping it on, on my iPhone. I wanted to say, no, let's keep rolling. It's okay. I'm, I've been in this world for many years. I'm fine having you tell me whatever you need to tell me. But she insisted that we turn it off. And the next day told me that I, in fact, had staged an early breast cancer that she thought could be treated, but we needed to come up with a plan. But Katie, I, I hear you talking about it as a as a TV person, as a, a person producing the uh, you know this screening. But I, as a, as a human being, when your doctor you know their tone of voice changes, their facial yes. expression changes, yes. and they say turn the camera off, I mean my heart would, my stomach would have sunk to my knees. Uh, how were you yeah, dealing I, with it there emotionally? Well, you know, I I think my heart stopped, but I you know, for some reason, Tony, I just felt like it was probably going to be early. Um, I don't know why, um, but it was scary. And it was scary waiting for the results of the biopsy, which he called me about the next day. I have had so much experience with cancer. Mm -hmm. And when my husband, Jay, was diagnosed with colon cancer, it was stage four, it was metastatic. When my sister, mm -hmm. Emily, two years later, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, it was stage four. So. Mm -hmm. I was hopeful and optimistic that if it was something that we caught it early enough and that in fact was the case. But of course it's nerve wracking, but yeah. you know, it was not my first rodeo. And I think I had enough background and experience in cancer that I wasn't totally freaked out to be honest with you. Katie, you mentioned how the pandemic, like many other men and women, has caused us to miss scheduled health checks. Um, have you always prioritized your health? Um, and if so, what is your advice? Because there's people sitting at home that they really don't think about it. They say, oh, I got time. Yeah. I'll wait. I'll get to it. I'll get around I'll get to, to it. it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've always been extremely vigilant about my health, especially after my husband died and I became a single mom and my daughters were six and two. I've been uber on top of it. But for some reason, I think the pandemic sort of got us off schedule and and messed with our sense of time. And I was at my gynecologist and she said, you're due for a mammogram. And I said, are you kidding? I just had one. And she yeah. said, actually, no, you're six months late. Yes. So my wow. breast radiologist recommends a scheduling your mammogram. And when you leave the office, scheduling the one for next year. So you're mm. on the book. So even if you have to change it, you're not going to forget about following through. But really yeah. what I wanted to, to do by going public with this was to help women understand that if they're among the 45 percent of women with dense breast, dense breast uh, yeah. from 40 and up, they need to a find out because it's only indicated on a mammogram. 
And then they need to talk to their doctor about follow-up screening. In my case, I get a breast ultrasound. I know Gail does too, but a lot of women don't know this. And 38 states require doctors to inform patients that they have dense breasts, but they don't really give them any information about what to do with that. So the FDA is actually changing their policy guidelines. And I think by the end of the year, all healthcare providers will be required to not only inform their patients, but tell them what their options are and what they should do to follow up. Because unfortunately, even 3D mammograms, which are far superior to standard mammograms, aren't really always that great at detecting tumors. Uh, if yeah. you have dense yeah. breasts, my yeah. radiologist said, it's like finding a snowball against a backdrop of a field of snow because it yeah. all comes out white. So a lot of women, mm. almost half, need Don't additional know. screening. That's, that's why, Katie, it's so important that you're talking about it. You're right, I too have dense breasts. We're a member of a very big group, and it's important that we do the right thing. I have them send me reminder notices. Thank you, Katie Couric. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, reminder, all. Women, thank you. Uh, a reminder, women should start getting regular mammography screening at age 50. Now the option to start at age 40. You're watching CBS Mornings. We'll be right back.